the filthy, stink human swine have constructed a fortress using their vile abomination known as anti creep. What an insult and disgusting attempt at playing God to make their own image of our gorgeous natural form and use it to purely benefit themselves. Crush these pitiful creatures and demolish their horrific creation that defends them. Show them the wrath of the true gods. Jeez, man, I should be a I should be a voiceover guy. A bam, and welcome to Creep World 4, everybody. Man, we've got a whole lot of map. Jeez. Almost a million creep in that wall. Holy to Zeus. To, uh, to get through. Man, there's a lot of stuff going on. And, uh, oh, lovely kind of, sort of, kind of teal, kind of pastel green style map to, uh, to explore today. Uh, where are we going to attack? We, well, there's air sacs coming. Oh, Lord, they coming. Uh, very excited for that. We could try and free you, but I think they're rebuilding, so I don't know if we can actually get them out of there. But does it make sense just to instantly just try and snag that? Oh, yeah, let's just start out with boosting our main boy a little bit up. Oh, I do like kind of trying to sneak, sneak forwards. Are there any other obvious good places to attack? Wait a second, do I have the cursor? Do, is this one of those cursor maps? I feel like I actually need it on this one. No, I don't think this is. I don't think this is a cursor. Uh, also, there's a lot of stuff, man. A little bit. Little bit of lags here. Okay, well, this just might take a red hot minute. Uh, let's just go for it. Even if it fails, you know, what have we lost? Naught but time. Oh, one's down. Two are down. Okay, can we get this to a point where it is self sufficient? Just pop all the eggs. They'll be able to deal with a bit of it, but we might kill off something around here. Oh, wow, we killed... Well, one or two of them. Okay, that John Rambo is causing all kinds of issues. I think we can kill him off. Okay, and then the other one probably will fall. It's taking a little bit of a while for it to get rearmed, so... Great, we've got a thing in their lines. It just means that I can probably snip through their... Maybe snip through there. They do have an M rift to hold the fort, but that's fine. There's like a real weak point by there. Maybe we can even loop around and take even more of it. We do have sniper support. Which is kind of what I'm after. Oh, but they do have an M rift. Do they have a sniper? They do, but if I can kill the M rift in one more shot. I have one more egg to make it make it good. Okay, great. They've fallen. Now I just need to by there probably won't rebuild. By here could. If they just try and build a pylon, I'm in trouble. But otherwise, we've just secured ourselves some real estate. I just need them to flow out a little bit faster. You can do it. We do have rocks if we uh, want to go and be a little more aggro somewhere. But I kind of generally like to save my rocks for a later point and just pick an area and just absolutely bombard them. Those planes are going to be a nightmare for me. But it's many mines, but most of their mines are just making AC. Shields that have an M rift inside. Ugh, God. Always, always difficult to assault. Eight eggs probably isn't enough. I think I need nine to twelve to bust that. But in turn, the air sack isn't actually going to defend itself, and so they could just rebuild nullifiers pretty pretty quickly. Okay, we could just, like, help speed this bit up. Just give those guys a little... a little butt egg. And... just make them turn. And so it'll just help the creep to kind of, like, flow forwards into them. Okay, nice. We have a little gateway. How's the rest of the map looking? Pretty good. I like this little island of, like, lost defenders. Uh, we could just absolutely ruin their day. Take that out, and then... God, we're not going to be taking that hill anytime soon, but... Great. They're cut off. Is it time to try and egg these boys up? Here, pop them all. Pop them all at the same time, because then they kind of split their fire a bit more. Pop! Okay, pretty good. Is it worth just dropping my remaining eggs on just the injured boys? Oh, see, look, they're already trying to get nullifiers in there. We could just go ham. 
just spend all of my money on air sex. Maybe not the best idea. But it's something I personally always like. I always feel like when there's a air sac cauldron near the beginning that it was put there just for me. Uh, it might be a little narcissistic of me, but just love, just love those air sacs. And it's the, just the perfect gift. I don't quite know how good their air defenses are on the rest of the map. Oh god, wow, they are really, really gunning for it now. Uh, already getting shot. Feels bad. Okay, they're throwing some down. Some of it landed. It's pretty good. Not the best, but... You know? It's okay. <laughs> There's a lot of snipers back there. But... Yeah, it's kind of... Stuff is blown up. Just randomly on the map, which is... Pretty good. Oh, nuts. They're rebuilding. They have the technology. Like, if I had have taken this area, we could just blast this with rocks. Okay, the M-Rift is down. Uh, that helps immensely. Now we can just poke behind. But also, with actually the big wall of creep coming down, that shield generator is probably going to die pretty soon. Okay, even if they nullify this. Oh god, although I really don't want them to do it before... Four seconds. Three. No! We could have got a whole load more. A load more air sacs. How are my air sac babies doing? Okay, they're a bit close to just the sniper line, so... I just can't imagine them throwing that and anything landing anymore. I like it if you could direct air sacs to attack an area. I feel like that would make them actually legit kind of powerful. Okay, right. Hopefully now, air sacs. Air sacs are mine. Right, where next? Spore launcher. Spore launcher's actually pretty good. Because if they make eggs as well, then we're good. But just getting that M rift is not going to be super easy. If we can sneak around, isolate it, and then slowly rock our way in there, could work. Okay, is it worth, like, actually trying to cut these guys off now? As if all of this infrastructure dies. Okay, there's a lot of... A lot of stuff going on, but sadly, not achieving the most. When that gun goes down, I'll start dropping rocks on them. Oh, we got the M-Rift. Wow. Man, number two. Great. Okay, well, that has fallen, and we've got spores coming in now. Right, the random kind of like fields and uh, production lines around here. I think just regular creep should be able to bust that down. Right, this area is kind of where I want to be. So I think if I can get around the back, I can snipe that M-Rift. 12 eggs is not a lot. Blast an M-Rift while we're here. Partly just because it takes them a, l a real long time to rebuild. Okay, we used quite a few eggs to get this far. But I don't think we're in terrible shape to get that good snipe. There we go. We got it. Two rocks. Two rocks is very economical. Uh, oh, look! Essek! Essek trying to help! He's like, Father! Father! <laughs> Let me help! I'm helping! And, you know what? You've done great. Cool, yeah, I don't think they're going to rebuild that area. Oh no, my children are just running to their doom. Hey, someone's landing, though. It's kind of rad. I'm trying to take out their production facilities, which I sort of love that. Seems we've got skimmers. Let's buff them up. Okay, realistically, I think I just have to wait and buff my things up. Maybe snipe that guy. That actually looks a bit in deep for only eight eight rocks. Oh my god, the, the air defense on there. Wow, but look, there's so much goop coming down. They're not doing too terribly. Oh, that emitter. Oh, they got it back online. Oh, nuts, but the shields are down. Okay, let's try and try and free my brother. 
Okay, actually having an emitter on the front lines. Wow, I didn't think I'd be able to take this for a while, but I think there's just those skimmers just did some really good work for me. If you can throw at the runways, that would be great. Looking real good there. Killed off a few planes. Wow, that runway was hurting. Throw those payloads. Excellent. Uh, right, we'll just try and kill the MREF just in case. Oh, that's two runways down. We might actually get a third. Come on. A little too slow, but not bad. Half their planes out of action. Those pylons, maybe, are good to try and kill. And definitely the runway. Excellent. Good job. Great work, everybody. How they connected up that pylon. Is that runway gonna go down? It did. Okay, well, a good portion of that air force is busted now. Uh, they're still flying around. Do they have actually more air, or is it just they haven't dropped their bombs? And they're gonna go back and resupply. But they cannot take off. Yeah, now that some of the weapons and stuff around here have actually been destroyed, kind of more of it is getting in. Okay, the air sacs are attacking this base, which is pretty good. We get rid of that red on. Uh, we will have a great day. Do you have? There is an M rift in there. It's kind of the problem that the SX are having is they come in, they they kill off like a few things, but a lot of it just gets rebuilt by the time they're kind of back in the game. Okay, you know what? we're actually kind of pushed along pretty good here. Can I actually rock? Okay. Shield down. Right, we have a little opening that we can potentially start squeezing through. Maybe it would be smart to start the other end. But, like, actually just bonking down the whole section means that we can flow in. There's a whole <laughs> lot of air sac stuff. Wow, they're really gunning for this alleyway. Wow, actually, he sniped some of their production. You know what? Let's maybe keep that party rolling. God, that wall is real big. Because uh, they're now running at a big deficit, and they will 100% try to rebuild that. Let's just boost this boy up. Like, I don't think it hurts to just have that making just double what it was on before. <gasps> oh, I think we managed to snipe the Emerift. Okay, this whole area is going to be mine. If we can do it on this side as well, that it will take a while, but we can just crush these two side fortresses. Oh, nuts. Did they take too long? Oh. We got it. Both both sides are down. Okay, so it means their mortar support is going to fall apart. And now we can slowly just sort of grind in there, which feels excellent. Not entirely sure what we're going to do with the bridge. Or the wall. They don't have a lot of sniper support. They don't have a lot of AA outside of the uh, the airships. It's going to take a, a whole bunch more assaults to actually kind of take out these areas. Because they have so many guns up there. But as time goes by, we'll get deeper and deeper in. Just use up more and more of that ammo. Oh shoot, they're actually rebuilding the Emrith. Just make sure that doesn't happen over here. Oh, it did happen over here. Balls. Oh, I didn't realize that could. That's what those porters are for. Okay, I kind of need to be a little more on it with these areas. Like, actually just try and claim the whole surface. Although, actually, man, Essex doing just God's work up there. With enough eggs, I can actually sneak my way in and just start blasting. There we go. Emrift is down. I just gotta make sure it doesn't get rebuilt. Hopefully the air sacs can just bombard this area. Sadly, all the guns got resupplied, which is not chill. Oh, skimmers, skimmers coming in hot. Whole area stopped. Oh man, everywhere being skimmed. Okay, I think it maybe is actually worth just committing a few more eggs into that. 
just to kill while they're not firing, because that saves me any kind of ammo-based problems. Okay, great. Side islands. We got them. Okay, I am just going to drop some eggs in this back line, in the hope that I can kill that M-Rift off, and then... Oh, it just died. Okay. I was planning on using rocks, but didn't need to. Uh, spore launcher. Should we just start going all spores? Because we get two every time, so we can go up to... 26 spores. That feels like a healthy, healthy quantity. Right. Where do they get red on? I guess, like, the airship's are doing a lot of their fire support at the moment, and so... They don't use red on. Or arg. We're just taking out those... Those guys. Let's just make sure the M rift goes down as well. Okay, now it's time for spores. Spores, kind of a bit of a waste to kind of shoot into there, but actually, if someone goes deep and actually makes it work, we can start taking out some of the backline. Actually, geez, like look at all those mortars. We're never going to take out the backline. Oh, it's an emitter. Okay, right, maybe we just save up. Where are you getting your supplies from? There. We can actually isolate this and get an emitter online. Okay, maybe throw in a little deep. Ooh, that's not too deep. Yeah, okay. Well, that hurts all of their shooting and stuff like that. Also, they're definitely running out of ammo. Sky ammo. And we have taken this. It's not the biggest. We could buff it up, but I don't know if we need it. I think this battle is now won with support weapons, not with the Horde. The Horde is just doing absolutely fine as it stands. The only reason why sniping their mines might be good is because they cost a lot to rebuild and they always prioritize. Although when they are building the back, they're not sending them to blue white. They're actually sending them to green R, which means their production goes up when they do get them rebuilt. It's kind of a bit of a pain. Air sacks have done me so good so far. Just air sack it up. Look at those big, big old long trails. Oh, so imagine what you could do with those. Okay, I think I, I think I made them too long. <laughs> They're kind of less effective now because they just get stuck, so they can't really, uh, can't really throw them. Oh, there's like a little throw. Sadly, they do not land. The airships are running out of ammo. Oh my god, the spores are actually connecting now. That is a big moment. Well, these guys are running out of ammo. So yeah, annoyingly that. <laughs> the mines that are getting rebuilt coming back as just green art production. It's kind of causing me more... More trouble. Oh. Wow, the air sacs just went straight for the base. You psychopaths. Love it. Okay, I believe... I believe we're into the final assault. Them not being able to re-up on those airships. We've kind of just completely ignored the wall. We used air sacs to go over it. Wow, the air sacs just gun for the base. Oh my god, huge respect for that. Uh, let's just drop rocks to stop them giving support. Oh my god, we did it! Wow, we just kind of didn't even deal with the deal with the main wall. Just went around. That's my kind of that's my kind of tactic. It's like still, uh, I guess it's dropping, but there was like a million million AC in there, and that's in there is about half of what we had on the entire map, which is crazy. The sun sets on the Great Wall. Only 40,000 left. Oh my god, so many. <laughs> so many air sacs. The wave of creep comes in. Begins to hit the airships. That is not where you want your airship to be. Blammo. Uh, the wall is all but destroyed now. And we've taken the map. Very cool. Oh my god, look at the stuff. Look at the assault coming out. So many air sacs. It's a good day. Good day to be the creep. Uh, Blam, well, hope you guys enjoyed that. 
Creep will. Just such a good game. Until next time, everybody. See ya.